Hey, it's Andrew here, and I want to chat to you about the four different quadrants. Investors often ask Andrew, where do I start? What type of deal should I be looking at? Um, and, and what we've found is that there's actually four quadrants, and everyone fits into one of the four quadrants. So I just want to give you a high-level view of what I'm talking about. In quadrant A, we have investors, and it doesn't really matter if you're starting out a property or you might have one or two properties, but you're in a position where you have all the time in the world. Either you're youth, you don't have a job, you or you're retrenched, um, and you sat at home you've got all the time, but what you don't have is any capital. You don't have direct access to cash or equity. So that's quadrant A. Quadrant B is similar except you have a job. So you're, you're watching this and you're saying, yes, Andrew, I've got a full-time job, but I don't have cash. Or you've got 50,000 Rand or 20,000 Rand. So you've got a low access to cash and you might have a little bit of bond affordability, but not much. So you're stuck, right? Quadrant A's and quadrant B's get stuck. Then you get quadrant C investors. These tend to be property investors who are, you, it may be that you're already in property full time. It could be that you get a very flexible job. So time's not an issue and you can get to viewings during the week and you're very flexible with your time and you've got access to cash. You either got two million in the bank or a million or 10 million, but you've got access to equity. You may have an ex a current property portfolio with millions of rands locked up in equity. And then you get Quadrant D investors. These are professionals, these are executives, these are busy sportsmen, these are doctors. So you are, you are just busy in your job. You're earning a really good salary, but you don't have time. What you do have is cash. You've got equity. You've got access to cash from somewhere else. You've got wealthy parents, wealthy family, wealthy friends. So getting your hands on money is not a problem. So for example, a Quadrant D investor is more than likely to invest capital into a development. But a Quadrant C investor is more is it's probably going to be the, the developer or the individual that runs the project because that individual has the time. A Quadrant D investor could never, would probably never become the developer or the builder on the ground because they've got no time. So what we find is a Quadrant D investors tend to invest in the Section 13 sex. Um, strategy, you know, where they'll go buy five off-plan units or new build units, you know, where there's no renovations, there's no rezoning, there's no, all we're doing is we're signing paperwork, we're building a portfolio of two-bedroom units, and that's what works for them. We find our Quadrant C investors are the developers. They're doing multi-lets, they're flipping properties, they're very active, they can be very selective as to what they want to invest in. Our Quadrant um, a and B investors, they tend to look for the rent to rent deals. Not saying a Quadrant C investor can't do it, but remember Quadrant A doesn't have the affordability because they haven't got a job. Quadrant B investors got a job but may not have the affordability. So we need to start thinking of other strategies like a rent to rent, an installment sale agreement. We might get creative and do a rent to rent and apply the Airbnb strategy. We may do an installment sale agreement where you don't need to prove affordability, but we do need to take transfer one day or on sell that property. So depending, if you're an A, B, C or D, will also depend on the type of deal that you should look for. Um, I hope that sums it up. It's very high level. If you're still not sure, reach out to Alani Simone, fill the contact form out. Um, they'll jump on a phone call with you. We'll look at, are you a quadrant A, B, C, or D investor? Where are you now? Where do you want to get to? Um, and we'll help you move your portfolio forward.